for once of Halloween is something to go back again to do another video. And this is a ghastly review. I know I've already did one of these before, but I'll just delete that and do it start again because I fixed this one now. He's all he's all working. He he works better than he did for when I got him. So yeah, there's a ghastly review for the Phantom Face Ripper. So let's go. Oh, it gives me juice. Anyway, <laughs> this one's his original box. He didn't he didn't come with a box. Um, all of the uh, um. They are complete. Yes, um, one of these are like complete because I got the instructions. I got the uh, box, but I don't have the tag what he had on originally. It went somewhere around there. It's a. It says Asta Phantom Face Ripper, seventy six centimeters approx. Yeah, he, he is about that tall in person. He is. Um, with his hair put up, he may be a little taller, but yeah. Watch closely as the face transforms. Get the fear factor. You know the face transforms, right? It, uh, I think they're getting it confused with the Jemmy face changer. Because <laughs> his face kind of transforms, but yeah. Hide in your pro party room and surprise your guests. Listen to story. I has to do a couple of rumours on these boxes. Like on the six foot butler, they put his eyes light up, but they actually move. And on here... On here, they put like two little rumours. He don't really do a story. He doesn't. He he just like boasts about his Halloween costume and says, "Can you do this and all that?" So I, I don't really get the big deal about that. But yeah, the picture's actually pretty big. There's one next to my hand, and here's the the picture next to the actual one. There's a there's a um, picture of him ripping off his face. A few instructions here. Takes. He takes four AA batteries, which are included if you're buying brand new, but he's not. you can't buy much brand new, so uh, it'd be best buying some new ones if you did. <laughs> but yeah. Also says try him, yeah. How, but how can you try him? It's pointing to his button there. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, but here he is. I've got two of them. I'll tell you the little story. Back in like November, I brought this one. He was like 35, 30, 25 quid plus plus 10 postage. Um, he, he broke in postage, he did. His relay switch is all messed up. Um, it, his face was snapped. And um, yeah, I, so I got into him and um, I, fi I fixed him, yes, I think it was the day before yesterday, um, two days ago. And today I fixed his mask. It now works now. His mask does. Um, so he's really cool. I have, these are both versions of him. I have, this one's a low pitch one, and this one's a high pitch one. Uh, I'll tell you how I got this. I, I put an ad on Gumtree for him because I because I thought I'd never get this fixed, and so I might as well get a new one. But I got him fixed anyway, so. Um, I put an ad on Gumtree, I got a reply, um, yeah, that's how I got him, I got him for like 20 quid, and uh, did I mention I got him for free, this one, because he, he broke, um, this one is in the best condition, but you like him the same-ish condition as this, because I fixed one side of his face, what goes down, I, I almost fixed two, but it snapped when I did it, it works okay, yeah, but, this guy's is kind of snapped as well, but who cares? It's you can still work on one side of it working anyway, so I'm not bothered. So I'll show you this guy first. I forgot to mention there is a little thing what happens with these. Um, if you leave the face up for a while, the face will get stuck sometimes on these. Not on him, but him. Um, it's just like different variations. And the and like the black paint sticks to the eye, and it like you get a little black mark. I, I scratched it off on mine, but you can ruin the eye if you do if you don't take much care in it. Because the way to get the paint back on is like colour it in with permanent marker or something. But yeah, here we go.
So I'll do these two in the dark in a bit. Um, now, now my old one. So here we go. Come here. I want to show you something. Can you do this? these two. Now I'll do, go on to quality and detail. I think the quality on these are really good. The material is feels really soft and nice. The trousers are very cool. They've even got like zigzag cuts in them, which are very nice. It's got like this um, L shape cut, cutted out. It looks really nice. I actually thought, when I saw, first saw my, my first one on eBay, I thought it was sellotape, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually like this. Yeah, because it's got the blood in it and everything. Um, now, now on to the ties. It, these are very nice looking ties. This one's a bit ripped, but this guy's is perfect. Um, the arms are very nice. They're pla made of plastic, the hands are. Um, the button on his hand. On the American one, the button's here, and um, this is a little different, the red thing. That's all the differences, I think. And the mouth it makes a bit of a loud sound when it works, but yeah. Um, now onto the faces. These are actually rubbery. They look really, I feel really nice. The rubber's ripped a little bit on this, but you can't notice so if you put the sleeves in the way. On this one, the rubber's really nice. Um, got an Adam's apple there. Um, to be honest, guys, I think these... A Phantom Face Stripper would look good in your three foot prop collection because um, he's around the right size and uh, he's very animated. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. Now on to the uh, accuracy to the Phantom of, op of the Opera. Um, the mask is very cool. Um, just imagine if he could take that off though. If that, if that was removable, that'd be good. Um, yeah, I just wanted to have that little bit in for the mask. He's got scars on his head, they actually re look really good. And the hair feels really nice, I actually love his hair, it suits him. So I'll just show you these guys in the dark. <laughs> like I do, I've laid my props. I'm recording on my selfie stick, so... Because my tripod's broke. So, here we go. Well, I'll show them both at the same time with the same phrases. So yeah, he's a little slower than the new one is because he's got a lower bit, lower pitch voice, and yeah, he's just a little slower. But yeah, my rating for East for Phantom Face Stripper is ten out of ten because he was my second favorite prop as sold.
And you can't get you can't get any props like this anymore. The only props that can nearly match it, maybe actually Wilco's heads up zombie. Um that's a pro that can match it, but the dead verse but I don't I don't think it is as good to be honest. But I still like it, the Wilco Witch. Um, because this has the face rip off animation and the eyes light up, which are really good. And B and M can actually do some pretty good props as well, like Zimmer Frame Granny, the Grave Digger, the Butler, and the Possessed Girl. Um, because the Grave Digger was my favourite last year, and he'll always be my favourite out of the B and M props. So that's about the end of the video, guys. Please, please like it. Um, comment and subscribe and I recommend you get this prop definitely because he's amazing so yeah keep haunting